for a little bit. And we have a first session of Rescue at Raxus. Last time, well, does anyone want to recount it for an inspiration except for Brader? <laughs> mistakes were made. We may lose the dwarf. Additional mistakes were made, yes. <laughs> there was also a very fun little store full of, of eccentricities. But yes, let's get back to the pressing thing happening right now. So Cornelius Rain, what are you guys up to? <laughs> what about you, Zarzul? <laughs> it's evening, um, around dinner time. Uh, I'm, I'm making dinner. Um, I think everything is fine and we don't need to run away in a hurry in a very short amount of time. <laughs> because somebody's insulted somebody. I'm fine. Everything's good. It's a great night. Has Orbison gone out for the night? Yeah, he seems to be just staying in. Uh, I, I would go seek him out and ask him what his plans are tonight. Well, uh... I need a break. So I was just gonna, you know, lounge about a bit. Yeah, I was looking to see if... I could get somebody who'd be willing to watch Pupplesworth for a couple coins. Because I don't trust Pupplesworth out here with Lorna. Oh yeah, look at him. He's yeah. just a sour fierce. He's doing that thing of where he just gets up now and again, just angrily leans himself and throws his weight against your ankle. <laughs> and when he sees he's not getting attention, he does it again, harder. Yeah, he, he's being, he's having a temper tantrum right now, I think. He's not the center of attention anymore. Yeah, he's not, like, properly dangerous or anything, is he? No. Just, the, the worst he could ever do if you really piss him off is he'll nip you. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll keep an eye on I'm sure. Thank you. I, I, I go and I, I pass over a gold because I'm a nice person who's watching. <laughs> if you were a nice person, it would have been five gold. <laughs> and what? No tip? All right, little guy. Why don't you, why don't you come? As he just gives him a slight little tension of the leash and just sees his bubbles where it flops and has to be dragged. <laughs> He looks a bit un. I, I, he just looks a bit unsure of it for a bit, but then just looks at you. And looks at and just keeps pulling until he pulls him into the room. <laughs> that that's helpless work. The most he did was roll onto his side. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so then I would go to have a visit with Horizon West. <laughs> It's a lovely evening. How about you, Cornelius? You and Zarzul, as you hear the kobold clattering the pots and pans. Uh, Wolfgang supervising. I think uh, Cornelius would probably go up and try and uh, get the uh, ray of uh, enfeeblement written into his uh, spell book before the big trip. <laughs> Alrighty then. So I guess that leaves Castalia Malgurn. So Malgurn, you just threw your tosser at the captain of the Az of the Azale mm -hmm. Knights. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And it didn't uh -huh. do shit. It dinked off his armor because you didn't throw it correctly. <laughs> he gives a glance to the men at arms. We're standing there with her arms. They Wait, relax a little bit. He brings up a handkerchief to dab at his lips and his beard. All right, then. He sets the handkerchief down. He then reaches behind his chair, which you notice was very large. And you hear something seemingly larger moving behind it. And then very quickly... He throws something at you. 
<laughs> it's a colossal great hammer. The hammerhead itself, the size of a dwarf. Fuck me, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> you take 24 bludgeoning damage. Hold on. Uh, I mean, I know I'm not down, but... As you're tore from your chair at the dining table. <laughs> oh. Could that have even missed? Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, his AC, what, his AC is like 18? Uh, 19. Is he wearing oh, no, his it's, not, it's an actual 20. Yeah. No, I no, you wouldn't have had your list. shield. So just oh, armor. right, right, 18. So. You're not, you don't have your shield out when you're eating dinner. I know, I, I, I forget <laughs> about the shield. Okay. So yeah, there's six roll, there's six numbers on the dice he would have missed with. Uh, does he have to make the save to avoid falling over? I don't think he has a chance. <laughs> No, I think he just knocks me on my ass. Because you weren't well, expecting him to come back with a bigger hammer. Well, it's a DC 14 strength save. So. Yeah. But he caught him unawares in this case. Ah. And that hammer doesn't go away. It's just resting on you very heavily, Malgern. Oh. As congrats, of course, sort of digging in the closet of a table, thinking about when to act. <laughs> Bit of a squeeze on Castalia's hand. The squeezes return, the door is trying to be eyed. <laughs> Karagrim slowly pushing himself, methodically getting up off from his chair to walk round to grab his hammer, looking down at Malgern. Are you sorry? I don't think he is. <laughs> I mean, he is sorry looking, but... <laughs> well... Uh, this, this is going to be funny. Um, he runs his hand down his beard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even his passive gets through that. As he I just know. narrows his <laughs> eyes at you, running his hand down his immense beard and the clinking beard clips before he just starts swinging his head around and then brings it down on you. <laughs> 26 hits. <laughs> As he smashes you with his black iron beard clips for five damage across your head. Oh, this is not good, not good, not good, not good. Uh, we just got the fucking diamonds. <laughs> the diamonds aren't going to help shit because Malgurn's so far away. And I guarantee you, you ain't going to get him to rain in time. <laughs> rain is not going there right now. There's a... Cr there's a creak of a chair as Kagras start moving. Kagram just looks at him. No, no. It's between me and the boy. Are you fucking sorry? And he just looks up. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Good. Let me come. As he pulls the hammer off with one hand. It, it takes a bit of pulling, to be fair. And then just grabs you and hoists you up much easier. I can't believe you made him flagellate him with his fucking beard. Yep, I'll flagellate with my fucking beard. Fine, I'll just go then. Have a nice day. He's been waiting all week for this. <laughs> I've had that attack prepared for a while now. Yeah, I said he's been. He's not the only that. dwarf that has it. Uh -oh. That's that's kind of scary. <laughs> No. What do you get bent out of shape for as he slaps you on the back and starts walking back to the table? And man, that's a big fucking hammer. Now, Gurn doesn't say anything because he's just too burr right now. As he, again, methodically sits himself down at the table. Congrats, relaxing a little bit. Although there is a fucking crater and the back of your chair is missing... <laughs> But yeah, congrats relaxing. Still holding on to Castalia's hand, still eyeing the door, because they could go at any moment. He's fast like that. <laughs> Karagrim just sitting himself back down again, knife and fork in hand. It's a cute little hammer. Not gonna get angry. Not gonna get angry. Not gonna get angry. 
You can tell he's really trying to hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> he's eyeing you. Yeah. Like, he is looking at you in a way that's very familiar, Malgurn. Yeah, and Malgurn is like, he's averting eye contact. <laughs> doing like, you know, the dog that knows it did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My tiefling is afraid yeah, the dwarf in me is embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and he just continues to slice at a steak, chew it. His eyes aren't leaving Malgurn. I don't know why Malgurn is allergic to telling anybody who that hammer belongs. He, he You're not there. To that, but he's kind of preoccupied at the moment. He's he's addressing the fact that that was a big fucking hammer through the air all of a sudden. So, you have a lot that did in the slums. Yes, yeah, so that was us. Hmm, good job, bud. Good job. Thank you. Is that something you did? As he looks directly at Malgurn. I just nod my head. Fucking speak up, I can't hear you. Yes! Good. So they did like an admonished little school child. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> This is the fourth time this has happened to him. <laughs> He'll never learn. <laughs> Each time he's met a proper dwarf, he's been fucking humiliated by his own actions. <laughs> like he missed uh, with fucking uh, Yorint. He tried to throw the tosser at him and missed. <laughs> I, just, I can't. I needed the inspiration before this happened. <laughs> I stand by that. There was all there was the nightmare of fucking Ushane Vagoosh on the boat. <laughs> Just everything. Every, nothing comes up Malgurn ever. Malgurn <laughs> is afraid to talk. Malgurn needs to learn to open his mouth and convert. So are you a wizard or a warrior? He's still talking to me? Oh, yeah. What makes you think I'm a wizard? To be honest with how quiet you are, I was thinking you might be a priest. It's kind of hard to talk with something I'm going to hammer in your face. Obviously getting very agitated. Sounds like some fucking excuse of a whelp, if you ask me. Because here I'm sitting looking at someone who's meant to have saved part of my city and my kingdom. And I'm not even sure if you're finished in the casting process. You're still a bit of an ingot. Ooh, that stings. Now that's a cobalt that's half baked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do get some sweet smells coming out of the kitchen, and not a lot of food coming out. <laughs> well, pardon me if I got a little angry when you insulted this hammer. You don't know what this is, do you? Oh, I... I've had the fucking... Get, get my way in the shadow of that fucking hammer floor miss all my bloody career. Well, about half of it, anyway. Uh, didn't, didn't really go the way. I don't know. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think I wouldn't know about him? <laughs> Do I look like a whelp? He doesn't. <laughs> he does. <laughs> you can tell by the rings in his beard. <laughs> Cut on the range head. he had on it. <laughs> You try making yourself a known dwarf hero. 
with a fucking known dwarf hero walking about doing bigger things, so he thinks. So that little thing don't impress me, because he didn't fucking impress me either. And you? I'm still undecided, but it's getting close. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. Like, <laughs> he knows he he knows he fucked up. He doesn't want to think <laughs> So, I'll ask you again. Just him, mind. You two can keep on eating. Go ahead. <laughs> What's I'd the biggest thing you killed? Slowly. Sorry, what did you say for you? I'd eat very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats and Castalia in unison. Slow, methodical <laughs> fork raises. Jaws in sync as they just crunch very slowly, almost cow-like. <laughs> <laughs> just looking left and right between the dwarves. I'm just imagining this, the scene from the uh, the Powerpuff Girls, the one where the 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 taken hostage. Yeah. <laughs> Eat the pee. <laughs> Finish that. No, that'll be when Ushane just comes in. <laughs> ah, you've met my son. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. You heart it, you broke my boy's heart. <laughs> I broke his head. Every fucker's broken his head. <laughs> <laughs> Only one broke his heart. Which, to be honest, I'm surprised is even working. The rest of them's <laughs> fucked. You know what, actually, I'll take that back. I'll ask a fresh question. The fuck are you doing here? Well, Cornelius wrapped us up into rescue, the whole rescue thing, right? <laughs> but yeah, no, no, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking out loud right now. No, that... <laughs> Malgurn's thinking no, out loud. Was, <laughs> the whole rescue thing, that was basically your cousin that got us involved. <laughs> Third cousin twice removed from his grandmother's side window washers. So, yeah, pretty much close as family as can be. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much why, why I'm not going to to tell them. Malgurn totally would. Did you hear that that's a secret? Uh, yes, Malgurn did. Um, You're going to be fucking... I, I don't know whether I should pull the trigger on this or not. <laughs> yeah, well, no. Uh, <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, he is gonna. St I, I'm here because you have an orc problem. Aye. And you sat around in town and freed the slums, which is admirable. Good job. I'm very happy with that. I haven't seen you out in the front. They've been busy. <laughs> there was an oni. Thing in the arena, you know. Just, I, I've been cleaning up this town. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Malgurn's getting angry. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's not bad. <laughs> You're gonna claim that the arena was a bit of important business you were at. It would have oh. been if you were a fucking clown. <laughs> I beat that thing and Ushane. I oh, you. I mean, you hurt me. I was fucking in stitches. You can tell he's gripping the tosser really hard. Like, we can't do it, but we so want to. We so want to. He's taking every fiber of his being to not throw it again. The door sure is looking enticing, huh, Costello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well... I'm about to get that old dusty trail. I mean, weirdly, congrats is eyeing the dessert menu. Takes you 20 minutes to cook this? Nice. I'll have three. 
after all, it is going to be our last meal. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, the fuck are you doing here? It's a very familiar look, Malgurn. <laughs> I'm sure Castalia's got a fucking look at Malgurn with Don't you fucking dare. And you can tell he's he's visibly trying to I think he realized like he probably shouldn't say anything, so he's trying to scrabble. He's trying to remember something else. Fucking <laughs> mercenaries! Holy fuck! Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Roll intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. He already said I'm here for the org problem. You know. That's, yeah, that's but he's thing, asking like, what else you have been doing. No. What There's else? been a lot. You could even say everything that we've done in Rex so far. Roll intelligence. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for it. <laughs> As you think back, trying to work it all out, you receive no assistance. If you'd rolled high, you would have gotten a nice little inspirational flashback from Congrats. Okay. As it stands, though, you're on your own. I mean, Castalia's is right over Vera, but you don't communicate with the party. <laughs> was was the was the tree Raxus? The tree was Raxus. Yes, right? the tree the was Raxus. So, <laughs> but but basically, what he's asking you is. Yeah, I think I missed. I think I'm misthinking the question. Um, yeah, it's basically why haven't you been at the front actually? Because there was an oni loose in the town. We were kind of preoccupied with that. Well, before then. <laughs> because you fuckers it. wouldn't leave the town. Um, <laughs> also remember, but do remember. For the start, when we get into town, you weren't part of the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was fighting works. No, as we quickly oh, found out, Malgurn went to find himself, and so he did a pub crawl in Raxus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we kept but, finding but you. <laughs> yes, but that's. Uh, he'll, he'll st he'll he was gone and from the party for works. about two days. He'll stand by that he went out and fought orcs because you guys weren't moving fast enough. That's his excuse. <laughs> and they found him already fucking pissed at a pub. With his best friend. That's the thing. He was You were there for the show. That's when they first met you. Yeah. Again. <laughs> that didn't work out quite as it was intended. <laughs> no, no it didn't. But hey... You know what? Roll insight. I'm gonna force your hand yeah, on this. Yeah, Malgurn's still gonna stick to his guns. You know, burst area orcs. That's uh, what I'm uh, doing here. But uh, wait, we're roll in insight. insight. Down, honey, yeah, guys. roll yeah. insight. Up, up, up. There you go. <sighs> oh <my God. laughs> we didn't flush the rolls, did we? <laughs> we fucking flush the rolls. <laughs> That's it. I quit. <laughs> fucking kill him already. <laughs> Fuck me. He continues to scrutinize you, Malgurn. Just one corner of his mouth receiving steak. Chewing it very narrowly. And he leans back. <sighs> Alright then. The shoulders sink a little bit. He looks over Castalia. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking tense for? <laughs> Dwarven interactions are not something I'm used to yet. Uh, I was, uh, <laughs> it's well cooked. Uh, it is. <laughs> yes, the, the food is wonderful. I will have pay a decent wage anyway. <clears throat> so he did the slums. He did some work for Adagun. I heard about that one. Mm -hmm. Not well, many people will have an audience for him. I find it important to keep ties like that. 
very important these days. Mm -hmm. So, you seem to have been very interested in me for more than the blade. I'm up for answering questions, if any. Hmm. Oh, that is right. I am also looking for someone. Right. All uh, right. Sashish? Mm, not a name I know of. You got more than that? Mm. A dancer. Water Genasi, if I remember right. No, nah, no, that narrows it down a bit. Not a lot of them come through. Distinctive, at least. Mm -hmm. Myself, not seen. Mm. But, not ruling out that my boys haven't. On my girls. That'll be something that'll take a day or two, though. That's perfectly fine. How about you? Anything to ask? She looks at Malgurn. I don't say anything. Do you want that shoot for you? <laughs> I start chewing the food myself. <laughs> like a, a big, big boy. boy. <laughs> yeah, I immediately, I immediately just make a motion. No, I'm pretty, you know, sarcastically. No, I think I can chew this. You know, making obvious sarcastic chewing motions, like I, you know, nodding to him, like Good. just for fun, a con check. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not doing this. Not tonight. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fucking... Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, this is just like kicking someone who's already down. Yeah. That's like, just I, cruel. I don't want to push any more buttons because I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, you have a right to be. I was a fucking six. Yeah. <laughs> have you fought Oryx a lot? I, I nod while chewing. Because he's focused on chewing, though. <laughs> he can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah. No, he, cause he, he's still... He's still coming back for the fact that he just got fucking flagellated with a beard and beat the hell out of a huge-ass hammer. I think he's earned it. Can I help him out? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's gone from... He, he's gone from, like, you can't sulking to fucking right scared there. shitless. <laughs> You don't have to ask. You can just help. <laughs> can I, can I he help is just straight too. up in his chair, sitting perfectly still. Like if I don't, if I don't do anything, he won't hit me again. Okay, <laughs> but, I, but I'm not trying to let that. Like I'm trying to hide it. Like no, I'm a big, I'm a big dwarf. It's fine. <laughs> uh, it's it's there's a there's a huge. Huge swap of emotions going through Malgurn's head right now, and it's very confusing. The, the hill, Malgurn? The hill? The hill. The With hill. the giants. <laughs> I don't, I don't, Siegfried don't... almost died due to a bad <laughs> disguise. Yeah, th there were a lot of orcs there. Uh. It was a good disguise. It just had two flaws. <laughs> One, they all had a distinctive mark painted on them, but I hinted at repeatedly. And two, he couldn't speak orc. Yep. It's two small flaws in an otherwise brilliant scheme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although my favorite part of that was the orc who just walked. <laughs> 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 right past the wiz right past the party, right past the wizard, just walked right into the forest. <laughs> he answered the questions and just kept going. The incredible Hulk music was playing, we couldn't stop him. Yep. <laughs> Any more here? Nope. Who's in charge? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, she means Great Ballista Hill, remember? 
That's when you first fell the fuck down because the wizard yeah. goaded you and said, look at that guy, he called you a dick. <laughs> <laughs> To, be, to my defense, I did not know that the uh, uh, cast wounds would do that much damage. <laughs> and to be fair, Castell, you might even see a flicker of that memory passing by Amalgarn's face. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, but, it, <laughs> but, it, but let's not forget what it happened the second time. Yeah, it's still not quite all grown in the back there. It's a little shorter in the in the shape of a hand. <laughs> <laughs> when he was got, when when he got goaded once again was saying this time you could get payback. Remember what he did last time. <laughs> so anyway, Malgar, <laughs> Castalia there reminding you of the Ballista Hill when you were taking on a whole bunch of ogres, orogs, a couple of orcs. Brighter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think. It's been a while. Yeah, that one was in fact a, a year or two ago. Yeah. There was, there was the tree, there was the Because when you said giants, well, I thought you were talking weeks. about the other one where I threatened her husband and she like beat the shit. I mean you could tell him that story too. <laughs> no, see that that's what I thought and then you were just like okay. No, no, the, the I thought it was orcs on the list there were orcs on the Yeah, list. it was a couple yeah, of orcs okay. but mainly ogres. But it was there, there yeah. were ogres too, okay. Oh, yes, that's it was also the day where we got the biggest payday. Yes. Yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna wasn't go with that, the Wasn't that also the time you guys locked the kobold in his no, that was that was way later. No, no, that was a different uh, day. I wasn't yeah. there for the cobalt. I was there for Ballista Hill. When he said, "I right. managed to get out," I could have got out of there myself and said, "All right, prove it," and threw him back in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that's a normal, rational thing to do. <laughs> that's We're not heroes. being a colossal anus. <laughs> We're heroes. This was a fun retrospective thing of thinking about the characters' motivations and how only one really seems to come from a pure place. <laughs> and it's the fucking Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I do also feel like the reason for why Corvus is being annoyed about the whole Cobalt incident is because he was really looking forward to using this character. No! No, he was a one-time thing. You made him a second-time thing by making him a lifelong enemy of Zarzul. <laughs> can, can I go about regaling him of the tales of Ballista Hill, leaving out the part where I got dropped by a fucking shaman, of course? But um, go ahead. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't one of those things where I could just say I do it. You can if you want to. Yeah, because I honestly, I'd be scratched. But you have to roll. Brain. Yeah, I'll oh, roll God. for it for sure. Performance. Um, Oh, performance? I thought he was going to make me roll deception. Because I, I left out the part about the shaman. No, no, a mission is not deception. Hey! It's a pretty thorough retelling. There's some odd blanks as you skip certain <laughs> portions. I don't really know exactly yeah. what to put in, but you continue on with it. I mean, you could have just said yes. <laughs> I was just going to advise you. When you're right there... Oh, sure. Put them down. There's a few, though. You might notice them. Half works a lot of them. Mostly girls. They'll be on Aurochs, usually streaked a bit. Those ones I don't want you hidden. The rest you can cut down, their file. And I'm just, I have to think, can Malgarn tell the difference between a male and a female? Well, they're half orc as well, so that's a I better I know, they're clue. not dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, also, he's pointing out like they're half orc, so it's an easier tell. Yeah. They don't have the full gorilla stature. Because, yeah, when it comes oh. to male and female orcs, despite what the artwork has been like, it's hard to tell. Because yeah. they're just big muscle-bound things. 
at least in this world. For now, until the uh, next PHP. All right, you hear me then? Yes. Don't hit the, don't hit the ladies. The riding aurochs. All right, the half orc ones on aurochs with a bit yes. of war paint on it. War paint. Got it. I don't know if you'd notice, but used to be a big, strong Orlock cavalry with the tribe. They'd be all daubed up. Don't do that no more. Most of their beasts, they just chop up to feed the ogres and the giants because of their fucking bellies. They're a nasty one now. Hey. I understood that they they don't have any aurochs left. They're using them for food. Is that what he just told me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he. So you're trying to save the aurochs? Is that it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pretty funny though. He is saying that very likely the half orc women will be on Aurochs and that they will be the only ones on Aurochs because the Aurochs are being eaten by the rest of the troops. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Not quite that. There's still a few with proper orc riders, ones who grew up with them. Just saying those ones are a bit different. Hmm. I don't want you pulling their heads back. Because those are his daughters. Oh, Garen isn't smart enough to figure yeah, this out. Yeah, I know how Garen is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just call him to for yeah. everybody else. <laughs> for our lovely viewers. As strange as he thinks it sounds. Agreed. Good. Alright then, fucking eat up. <laughs> and now Garen finally realizes he's been chewing on the same piece of meat for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he does He's need chewing, help. Not swallowing. Yeah. We all know <gasps> Algern needs help. He's just been crunching on <laughs> some lump of... Heimlich. <laughs> He's been crunching on the lump of gristle you're meant to set aside. Well, I was, I was so angry I just started chewing. Never swallowing. Just... You realize you've just been chewing on your tongue the whole time? Oh, oh God. God. Dwarven blood. tongues are just hard like leather. <laughs> Time passes in silence unless any more questions are proffered. He doesn't seem to offer any more conversation. Oh, Malgurn is fully done. He is <laughs> into his plate. <laughs> Again, he's like that dog that knows he did something wrong. He won't make eye contact with you. Just... <laughs> it reminds Malgurn of family dinners. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I thought leaving home was supposed to be better. He looks across to his dad at the head of a table and then to his mother, mother and her boyfriend. Yeah. I just I'd look up. Yeah, I'm having a flashback. Like, I just see them all of a sudden and shake my head. Oh, no, I'm back. There's Castalia. There's the hook. Okay. Why did Uncle Norbert never leave home whenever it was nighttime? <laughs> well, the burn will never know, for he'll never bed a female dwarf because he's a shit. Oh, jeez. We there, haven't lifted the beards yet. You don't know that. There are fest halls in the city. He could have just paid for it. Yeah. He could have just walked up to any mercenary company, and there's probably a couple of women that, there that might take a shine to the muscles. Well, Gurren's not that bright. Like, there's plenty he's of also, opportunities. He's also, for... he'd rather spend his money on drink, honestly. Yeah. He's not, you know, it's just not, he could have it, but no, no, that's not what he's interested. He now has a couple of centuries left to find romance. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I fucking rolled that. Congratulations, you're a fucking senior dwarf. Yeah, let's just change You got that. like five years <laughs> left. <laughs> Six months of high activity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, dwarven metabolisms work faster, so we, we burn a lot brighter. <laughs> Sprinters, not runners. Well, he basically, as a paladin, he's just been having a desk job right until the last five <laughs> years of his life. Uh, time to go on that one adventure so they'll remember me. I've decided <laughs> I'll finally have my gap year. <laughs> yeah. 
as I retake my finals for the 84th time. <laughs> so, any questions from Castalia's side or topics? Nope. <laughs> Just want to get out of here alive. Finally, the cutlery is set down. Well, that was nice. Having that guess in a wee while. You luck and go. Thank you for having us. <laughs> ah, it was different. <laughs> And so you leave. <laughs> Being escorted out of the vulgar district and back into the craftsman area, into the marketplace. Nighttime, though. Pretty much everything's packed up. You do spot, walking along the street, a familiar half elf in an orange muggy. Does the half elf spot the other group? Is the question. Her, does she not? And does she not put all of her attention upon her boyfriend? <laughs> that's that's the thing. Is it, it, would she notice? It's your character. I would, I would give a wave. Yes. To be fair, congrats does stand out. True, fair. <laughs> There's not a lot of dragonborn you've seen in Raxus. Like we're going on maybe five different ones you've seen, and two of them are Paladin and a champion. The three others yeah. are basically other mercs that you've glimpsed at sometimes. In that case, I would probably notice and give a wave. Well, someone's having a less awkward night. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, congrats is about to sort of lay a hand on Malgern's shoulder before he looks at the expression. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, get discouraged. I get one of those looks and I, I look at Horizon and I go, I, I, I have the inclination that something did not go as planned. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> what? <laughs> um, uh. Things were personal at some point. You can walk this off. It's fine. It's just... Um, prove him wrong. There's a bigger question mark as he tilts his head and thinks about, <laughs> was that even what was going on there? <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. Ah, uh, right. Oh, all right. Then I, I suppose I can get a full story in the morning? Like, what expression is Malgurn making right now? What's he doing? Keeping his head down. He doesn't even want to look at Rain, because then she's just going to say things. <laughs> he just doesn't need that right now. He has a lot of saying things. Uh, yes, um... We'll get... We'll get a recount done tomorrow. After all, you're setting off on adventure and exploits. And glorious victory. As, as he's, he's saying this with a smile at Malgurn, noticing he's not being seen, he looks at the others with a bit of a concerned expression, right? Like, well, it's, like that's going to happen, yeah? Exactly, that's right up Malgurn's alley. Oh, for God, Rain's saying things. Congrats, congrats <laughs> digging. Congrats dig, scratching a little bit at the side of his head. Yeah. Because he's thinking about the two hobgoblins that idolize him. My well, has forgotten about that temporarily. <laughs> and it's been the oh. same day. <laughs> so much has happened to poor Malgurn today. Yes. <laughs> but the poor dwarf is just going to drown himself in booze and we're going to wake up in the morning and just find him... Dead. Like the cat's eaten him already, and... Yeah, probably, because he's going to go straight for the death wine and empty it. No, no, no. And then find more. It's worse than that. We're going to enter his room, and all of the booze he bought is still sealed. He let himself get sober. 
<laughs> well, let's get you home, huh? You two have a lovely night. Indeed. You, you as well. The second they're out of earshot, she just looks at Horizon and goes, I haven't seen him like that. Oh, really? He, he always seemed to be a bit of a grumpy sort whenever I spotted him. Mind oh, yeah. you, it was at the arena and then at the Coliseum, so... He's always grumpy. I wouldn't say down. He's not usually down. He just perpetually looks like he's mad at the world. Well, hopefully we can raise his spirits up. Well, he doesn't particularly like me, so I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able. Ah. That whole half-elf thing. Well, I mean, that shouldn't be an obstacle. Obviously, the tabaxi dealing with a half elf is thinking that no, race should not be an option. <laughs> it shouldn't be an obstacle here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit old-fashioned. I then stuck in his ways. Of I just love how she's blaming it purely on the half elf thing. That's the only problem he has <laughs> no, with her. That that, that's one of the things. She's, she's just not going into the whole thing. <laughs> I, I know he's particularly out of sorts after... Apparently, he ran into some hobgoblin that... I'm not entirely sure what happened, but they, they, they're very fond of him and think he's done great things. And it's put him all out of sorts. I think he's got imposter syndrome. Well, I mean, what we've talked about before, he has done some great things. Yeah, I know, and that's the weird part, is you'd think he'd be apt to say all of those things, but he's not. It, as far as what he said to us back in the, the house, he was just acting like he hadn't done anything, he wasn't worth anything, and that he was a failure. He used to be a paladin, and I think that might Here be part of the problem. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't know. This is all... I hadn't figured this out until about yesterday. This is coming somewhat new information. Perhaps he just hasn't found his footing, really. What makes... You know, what, what brings joy for him? Yeah, that's entirely possible. Pretty much the only time I see him particularly pleased with anything is when he's drinking. Or, well... A temporary escape, a sadly. Even for, even for the stout folk. Yeah, I'm not... Still, I'm not sure. I barely know of a gent, so... I can't give that much... informative an opinion. Hopefully he'll find something to latch on to, something to enjoy. I do agree. And from what I can tell, at least Kagratz is trying rather hard. Hopefully he can get through to him. Oh, yes, the big one. Oh, yeah. Intimidating in size, really. His eyes, yeah, but he, he's very nice. I... I... It's one of those things where I guess if you don't know him, yeah, he looks a bit intimidating, but once he's been around a bit, if anything, he's, he's very pleasant. <sighs> it's actually open. Well then, we should get... We should have ourselves a little aperitif, shouldn't we? I, I agree. Let's, I know a lovely we'll little den. <laughs> I'll then after you. And then back at the gate... Do you think people look at us as much as they look at those two? Possibly. <laughs> All right, let's let's get you home, huh, buddy? Mm -hmm. He takes Malgurm <laughs> by the hand. <laughs> He's just keeping his head down. He doesn't, he doesn't even like reach out. He just just puts his head down. Just keeps walking. No no, no contact. Steering him with a shoulder. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has to put a bit more pressure on each time they pass a bar. 
<laughs> oh, no, we're going home. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the talk. You got angry again, didn't you? Just like it. <laughs> And yeah, when they get back, yeah. when they get back to the house, Cornelius, you have finished up the spell. You step out of a room to stretch your arms, relax, bring the back, and then you look down and see Malgurn shuffle in. <laughs> well, I see it's been an interesting evening for the pair of you. Again, Malgurn avoiding eye contact. Uh, Three of us. Would, would interesting be the right word? <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at a at a half beaten up dwarf. We almost <laughs> again. So a pair is two things. <laughs> we almost had a political catastrophe. Uh, there was a could have been a minor case of treason but it wasn't so that's you know. yeah felt close though exceptionally close dinner was nice oh well, the food was excellent <laughs> you got a good deal of information that I was looking for and uh, including this, and I hold up the sheath. Yeah, that's a weird sword, that one. Mm hmm. Suddenly, an interesting thing, I presume. I pull it out of the. I pull the sword out of the sheath. Again, there's that weird thing where you start pulling it out. And it's just a broken sword, but then you start to feel little bits and pieces snap into place through this green haze. And yeah, it's okay. a very fractured, many gaps in its blade. Okay, a little more interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This congrats points a huge finger. Uh, this bit and this bit were new. That's what Tally had in her pouch. Mm -hmm. And they just snap right in. You can't even see the seam. Oh, yes. I remember you fiddling around with those. Mm -hmm. So that's where it belongs to, huh? Yep. And if I'm lucky, I'll well, do a bit of searching. I can probably reassemble it. Huh. Just realizing something. Hmm? I mean, he didn't really tell us where it came from. No. I should have asked. Uh, it's all right. We had other things occupying yeah, our mind. Yeah, we did. Do you want to? Do you want to make you something? She looks down at Malgurn. Could do your grilled cheese. <laughs> Cut the crusts <laughs> off. He's not going to say anything, but he's very much like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the tiniest of nods. <laughs> yeah, does, does he get a look that implies he would very much like that? He's trying to hide it, though. The beard moves up slightly from a smile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's trying yeah. to hide it the best, but yes, he would very much like that. <laughs> you, sit your, you sit yourself down, I'll fix it up for you. <laughs> All right, champion, go sit lower. <laughs> And what does Zar what does Kigrat's meet on the kitchen? What has Zarzul been doing? Oh, there's some nice um roast rabbit with yams and sweet potatoes, but roast uh, vegetables. Um, a nice fresh salad. This is just stuff you've been hunting, <laughs> or run over with a van. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bloody a whole heap of rabbits not like 50 meters away from here and I can't kill the damn things. There's too many people around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what have you been up to, little bro? 
Ah, just some nice cooking for dinner. Um, are you full or do you want some more? Uh, yeah, I'm full enough. Yeah, I shouldn't overeat. Just gonna do something small there for Malgurna there. That was uh, a rough dinner. Oh, okay, okay. Tell me, uh, has he had problems with dwarves before? <laughs> oh, no. To be fair, Castelli couldn't really um, tell him this. <laughs> I'm trying to actually think it was. Uh, uh, I've been. Yeah, where have you been present or not? Dwarves. Yeah. I'm trying to think so now. Much. I think at the time that Malgren was having problems with Yorint, you were meeting with the Lizard King. <laughs> and so was Quite Cornelius. Possibly. I can't remember if anyone saw him deal with. Maybe Cornelius is with him at that point. It's hard to tell. I, I think, think Yorint didn't Yorint take him into his house. Yeah, I remember he gave him shit in public, and then had him meet up. So oh, I think yeah, everybody saw it. Yeah, everyone right. saw when he was giving shit with it in public. <laughs> yeah, and then he gave him a special lecture privately after Castalia danced for him. Yes. <laughs> So you can at least say I yes think. on that web gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's strange. He's, look, look, it's like he's got problems with father figures. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Older, wiser dwarves seem to rile him badly for some reason. I don't know. Uh, it's not really something I can... Don't have much experience there. We're raised a bit differently in the clan. <clears throat> Basically, yeah. any, anyone over a certain age was in charge of you. What yeah, about no, you? Uh, well, I was a clutch. Um, there were a lot of us. Uh, I don't even know who my dad was. Mm, same. Uh, the whole father thing is strange. But, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the, I know it happens, but it's I mean, actually knowing who it is is, yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like, um, you know, you've got one dedicated mentor. For someone who showed you how to twang a bow. As Zarzil tries to think through the green and purple haze. <laughs> He is high as a kite right now. Hmm? Because Garzul's probably high as a kite right now. <laughs> I know there was someone I hotbox with, but I guess there was a bow and arrow involved. Where'd you learn to fight undead? Man, those were some amazing mushrooms. <laughs> now, what do they teach you? But you don't eat them immediately, you drive them first. Oh, I think he's got connection issues. Because uh -oh. I don't see Zarzul no, or Brader in the roll twenty. Yeah, roll twenty. Just I'm. Just, I can still hear you. Go on. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. Web gun, you there? Uh, I was hoping it was just roll twenty had a hiccup for both of us. Guess I didn't too. So let's go back to this common room now. <laughs> Malgurn, Castalia, Cordelius. I have a sandwich. Not yet. Oh. Not just yet. Oh, yeah, that he went off. <laughs> but you can take it that it will eventually arrive. Mm -hmm. A bit of rare bit. Up. Oh. There we go. Welcome back, Webgun. Where did I cut out? Um, it's kind of when I was talking, I think. Basically, uh, when he yeah. asked you, did you have a mentor? Did I have one? Yeah. You know, did you have someone? I, did you have one person who taught you to twang a bow? Um, there were, there were quite a few. Yeah. The tribe was. Everyone sort of pitched in. Hmm. All right then. So now we jump back to the central room. 
Some grilled cheese has arrived for a couple of people. Zarzul has possibly entered as well, so he can join in the conversation instead of being isolated. <laughs> yep, I'm bringing in the food for those who actually want it. <laughs> and then clattering in the kitchen is Kigras doing the dishes. <laughs> Always responsible. <laughs> so then... What exactly, other than acquiring a sword, did you find out? It was only a week ago. <laughs> Castalia Mulgurn? Maybe she's having her... I've got a sandwich. I think she's having her Discord issue. No, no. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think, but honestly, it's just been all been overshadowed by Nogger and Throws the Tosser. <laughs> we found out he's got a really, really big hammer. Yeah. And he can throw it. <laughs> I'm good at that. And Malgurn can't catch it. <laughs> I thought That's... I was good at that, but it turns out I'm not. <laughs> well, I mean, one thing you, you can recount is of a certain half orc woman. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. He has said that if we encounter orcs riding aurochs, especially half orc women, to not kill them. And, and Malgurn kind of eating his sandwich, nodding. Mm -hmm. He did say that. I'm feeling better now. Um, <laughs> got a grilled cheese. <laughs> yeah, got grilled cheese. <laughs> Malgurn is a giant toddler confirmed. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. He absolutely <laughs> is. This is Castalian congrats trialing for a, for a kid. <laughs> Even they agree we should start over. <laughs> We're aboarding you. What? <laughs> but I'm 40! Yeah, I know it's been a long time coming, but we don't make decisions quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we thought long and hard about this. <laughs> We think this benefits all three of us. What? Is, is that what I rolled? Yeah, yeah, Malgurt is 43, so you were absolutely right in that. I remember. Yeah, I, when I re-rolled his age, he was almost dead. And he is appreciative of what we have done so far for the town. Which is nice. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So that's but, an odd request from him. Yeah, it was specifically ones like uh, painted up. Mm hmm. Yeah, it did come across as weird, though. Is, is anybody going to tell Kagrats why he asked that? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of grilled mm -hmm. cheese. I guess he... Malgurn probably doesn't remember. Malgurn, Malgurn... He didn't know if put two and two together on that one. Uh... But she that... wasn't... She didn't go on the research expedition. Yeah. That was Cornelius. Well... Well, then, wouldn't Cornelius be able to put two yeah. and two together? I mean, his intelligence is high enough. Uh, you can still roll the one. Yeah, <laughs> but don't, don't forget he's st st he doesn't really know about the birds and the bees that make creepy <laughs> half bird bees. Not all, not all. He definitely knows about the birds and the bees. <laughs> yeah. he's, just, he's not aware of how to get to the pod. <laughs> I've never understood that analogy. Like, which one am I? Do I just sting them? <laughs> I sting them, I'll die. Oh. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> considering, considering that he was married to one of the orcs, some of his daughters, perhaps. Hmm, that wouldn't make sense. Huh. I know. I'm just did after trying, all. I'm sort of picturing them now because I've seen Peregrine trying to think what would his daughters look like, and I just see him, but with skinnier legs. 
He, he, his, his life was an orc, apparently. I, I know. Just... So I, I just kind of think of a really big orc with a beard. Hmm. That too. So what you're saying is we're going to need Malgurn's help to identify... Um... This may not be his field of expertise these days. <laughs> Karatz does not say that. He's supportive. Mm. But he's thinking it rather loudly, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's thinking it. Well, at least Castelli is. <laughs> yeah. She was witness to what happened. <laughs> one minute Malgurn was sitting there, having thrown his hammer, and a bigger one came back. Yeah. <laughs> and then Malgurn wasn't at the table anymore. You've been waiting. You waited an entire week for this. <laughs> I have a feeling you had an ear-to-ear shit-eating grin as you pushed those buttons. Oh, I know exactly I what was gonna. I mean, I the, most, the most fun part was, of course, you guys had no idea what was happening. I knew exactly what was gonna happen. Uh, I I knew I was pretty fucked based on we ended on my roll last week, and I was like, ah, shit. I I actually feel pretty good. I guesstimated what was going to transpire. <laughs> He's going to get another talking to. He won't learn anything. Nothing will change. Yeah, Rain walking <laughs> so away. He's going to be emasculated again by a dwarf. So the world turns. He was even flagellated by a beard. <laughs> like, I think that's a new rock bottom for him, but oh, it could probably get worse. I'm half expecting Karagrim to look over him and say, you're a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Malgurn oh, probably feels like one. Fiber. <laughs> I know he learned this lesson, you know, he's still fresh in his mind. That still would take every fiber in his being to not toss it again if the grats called him a shit. <laughs> no, this would be Karagrim. Oh, Karagrim. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing it. And then it just, there's that rending of air as the hammer sails off again. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently I can't roll <laughs> when I need to. It's just a ver it's just a hardcore version of boot to the head. <laughs> And one for Jenny and the Wimp. <sighs> I mean, there's no way to look at this. While Malgurn is feeling sad, right now, Rain is having sex with a cat man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat. Depending on your social circle, one is more reviled than the other. <laughs> and Rain just leaves her bedroom. <laughs> oh, hairball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to smack him. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, I was like, I don't think you you can. Yeah, I mean, you didn't get flagellated. Well, I don't know. You may have been flagellated. I don't know if you're into that sort of thing. But um, <laughs> it's rain, that... so I'm going to say maybe. Probably. He's <laughs> not that kind of cleric. How do we know? You never it's, talk about yourself. There, it's I always said the it. holy ones. It's <laughs> one of the few people you know an awful lot about. Yeah, she's yeah. fucking else. Yeah, but not through her lips. It's through everything <laughs> they meet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have said nothing. It's all been... Who's this Prender's guy? Oh. oh. Well, yeah, oh. that's like exactly some information you just throw about. <laughs> there was nothing oh, yeah. in that room. Let's go. <laughs> And also the fact that, God, they'll fucking love the fact that I, for once the note that I took paid off so well. <laughs> well then, so. I, I don't have a follow up, I just wanted to break the silence. <laughs> Well, I presume that most of us have everything ready for the journey tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just need to do a quick purchase and then I'll be ready tomorrow. Oh shit, the journey tomorrow. No. I've got my practice steps ready. I've closed off my business stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess... Um, hmm. Did anyone tell Robert where we're going? I 
I'm guessing no. Yeah. I'm trying so to remember I... who Droppa is. <laughs> I mean, you guys didn't see him after a bath out after a bath in the Coliseum. Yeah. He just went into a private cubicle with a wine bottle. Oh wait, is it the tall green? Yes. Okay, yes. It's just because I couldn't remember his name was Robert. That was why. Yep. Yeah, he is too. Robert Melwitz and Tall Green Fellow Winter. Okay, I just I just wrote down Tall Green. That's the name I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I know who we were talking about. Yeah, we uh, should tell him where we're going. I almost assumed that he would have been informed, but sure. Well, it's important. The poor guy. I mean, I can send, I can send him a message right now. Unless someone wants to do it in person, but I don't know exactly where he is. Well, he's a member of the guard, so we can also leave a message through them. Yeah, that's easy enough if you want to just send a yeah. missive. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from that, no, I can't really think of anything. We'll be picking up the mercenaries tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Uh, have, the cat, have the cat arrived at the uh, house? Not yet. But then you probably expect, like most deliveries, it'll happen in the morning. Hmm. And yeah, they told you they'd meet you at the gate. The mercenaries. All right. So they just gotta pick their time when to move with Bartris. So I guess we're done for the night then. As he looks across at Malgurn. <laughs> You're right there. And, and trying trying not to let anything on. I'm just trying his hardest. Yeah, fine. All right, so, so roll a deception. Yeah. I... <laughs> Excuse me? Are you... <laughs> can I can I get, like, interference on this play or something? Come on, ref. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I roll. He rolls low, but fuck it. Nogarin can always roll lower. <laughs> I was actually saying that as a joke, but you know, I have a one in charisma mod. It's not like that. <laughs> like the dice just hate you. Yeah, They're I stopped playing Blood Bowl. They're supposed to love me. <laughs> <laughs> See, the problem is I stopped playing Blood Bowl, so all my bad dice have no outlet, so they just come over here now. Well, bedtime, I think, Van. Just congrats. Uh -huh. Picks up Castalia. Cornelia <laughs> <laughs> is uh, seeing this just like, okay, so I'm guessing I'm not going to be going to bed for at least a half to one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up for dragon chess? <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets just win after win of Malgur and making his depression even worse. <laughs> that, yeah, because I was going to say, well, if he does make that offer, it's like, not, not good. No, if you guys play. want to, go ahead. We'll do some yeah. rolls. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> I'm not ready for bed either. I'm depressed as shit. And there's Arzul as well. Tomorrow morning, there'll just be one really depressed person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be the best of friends. And there'll be a wizard with a fucking queen piece in his eye. <laughs> First rule of uh, what are we playing? What'd you call it? Uh, dragon chess. First rule of dragon chess: let the dwarf win. Uh, <laughs> because the dwarf can't dislocate both your arms with their fuck. So, first we thing we're gonna roll for is your approach to the game, and we're gonna do this two GM. So, click that tab there. Okay. Um... So you get to choose your approach here. You have. Tactically, which will be 
Uh, let's. It'll be your intelligence, of course. You could be sneaky about it using charisma, trying to confuse your opponent, or you just play the game straight, which will just be a, a d20. Risky. Uh, Along with anything all, else you can think of, but the main thing is the others won't see what you're doing. So my God, have you ever played this before? No, I don't think I have. Okay, then. I played some funny games in the camps, but not this. Look, as a pack of cards, it's usually easier to transport than... Uh, it's actually mostly dice. We lost oh, too many cool. cards. <laughs> Yeah, Cornelius has got to spend some time going over how the rules work. <laughs> Are you giving an honest account of the rules? Yes. Okay, man. Like, he is an intelligent man. Like, he is going to hopefully make a, an impression. This is a very civilized game. Yeah. yeah. This, isn't, this, isn't, uh, this isn't the bone dice that Mugurn is used to. So, yeah. He gives, if Zarzul's there as well, he wants to listen. Yep. Yeah, you two get a very informed step-by-step -step method. It's, of course, always easier to play as well, but you've got the pieces in front of you. It's a practical thing, so you work it out. You internalize most of it. It's a little, still a little tough to get your head around some of the bits and pieces. But he does an honest job. Okay, so who's up first? Well, usually white piece go first. I assume it's a one-on-one -on -one game, so if there's a one. Yeah, but you could take turns, obviously. I know, but I, they're playing the first game. I will you can also give tips. You can also study and see see how yeah. it actually plays out. So first off, I've got to do a roll for my tactics, right? Well, the sort of thing that you're trying to do. Are you being deceptive? Are you being cunning? Are you just going to try and bowl them over? I'm going to try and be a little cunning. He's got to eat the pieces when I'm not looking. <laughs> He's going to snap off a finger and put that in place of a real piece. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, how did you get two points? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius, are you going to go easy on him? Or are you going to go... Yeah, just, just, got, just got to be straight up uh, intelligence. All right. The highest modifier, but like more. But if you want to go easy on him, though, you can roll a disadvantage. Yeah, he's not going to bring out these super tactics. I guess I'm just going to do like. It should be to GM. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Even trying your hardest, Cornelius, to just <laughs> give it away and just. You know, you make very obvious openings to what a see to what you think a, an amateur player would spot. You still find yourself nervously winning quite easily. <laughs> Cornelius got a six. Zarzil got a four. <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. That's about right. It should be mentioned six is because I rolled a one. one. Yep. He yeah, rolled the lowest he could, but Zarzil rolled lower. Modifier four. <laughs> I don't have a modifier on intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you said you were trying to be a bit cunning and sneaky. Oh, never mind. Yeah. But yeah. I was trying to be. Like you were confident yeah. enough. It's just he just pl played you a little bit out, and you're not entirely sure how. <laughs> and Cornelius, you're wondering how you won. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to work out what did you do because you tried to make it really clear and obvious. <laughs> it's my first game, all right. Well, it's just yeah, from his wait. point of view of a seasoned player. Like, how did I? Win? Normally, he can think through the moves on how he won, but in this he can't work it out. Mm. What was the you step that changed? It? And that happens in actual chess. Yep. Somebody doesn't like no openings or anything. You get confused because you're like, this isn't supposed to be happening right now. <laughs> I, I imagine, I imagine it was just like three times Sasu made an opening where his king was uh, managed to, to be exposed to an instant checkmate. It was just that point where twice you were able to ignore it. You didn't bring it up. It didn't say no, no, no. Yeah. It's not check yet. But the third time there was no no move you could make. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm like, well, shit. All right, Malgurn, step up to the plate. He's he's really confident. Like he he thinks this game is super easy. Like he has like the horsey piece goes like this. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. He's doing great. Ten out of ten. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. Ten. No. <laughs> yeah, he's a ten out of ten out of ten. <laughs> So there's no way Cornelius can lose. I'm just going to let you know that right now. (laughs) 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 He even beat you on the raw dice itself. I knew it, yeah. He just doubled your score with a two. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck this game. (laughs) Cornelius, you're questioning your teaching method. But you know, it's the first time. It's, It's not unexpected. And the three of you can <laughs> let Smelker and Storms off. There's a few more matches. No, no, no. And you know, it's nice. It's simple strategy. It's a chance to talk, converse, interact. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he had an ulterior motive. Yeah, always. <laughs> and we all go to bed after playing. <laughs> <laughs> No, so, no, I'm gonna play against my good and see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> Can't go any worse than the first time he said confidently. <laughs> let's, okay. Let's, let's try this again. Sneaky didn't work. Uh, was gonna be reasonably... fucking hell, man. Uh, Zazel's gonna be straightforward this time. <laughs> Did I somehow beat him? Cornelius, it's confusing as fuck to watch this. <laughs> it's really weird. Like, there's... You have to keep on covering your mouth again just to not say, you could move out there. You're trying not to point with your fingers. You're not letting your eye movements betray. Shit, it's driving you nuts. There's Everything's hanging. Pieces are going. You do have to point out a few times of proper movements. No one really makes an illegal move. It's just, there's so few pieces left by the end, and Malgurn is the winner. What? Oh, no way. Malgurn rolled a five, Zarzul got a three. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's indicative of our skill level, though. I just, uh, I, I, I just have to ask. Are they rolling d20? Yeah. yeah. Yes. My first game was a one, my second game was a five. Has and any of them rolled over six? Nope. That's no. the thing. Okay, the, the chess rolls had been four, one, one, two, five, and three. <laughs> from three different people. Yeah. <laughs> and Cornelius is smart. Well, he's now I'm wishing we'd gotten to a fight. <laughs> we didn't flush the dice cue. I blame it all on that. <laughs> Normally we mash and flush the dice cue. This is what happens when you don't do that. See, I've already rolled let's see, two ones up there, another one down there, and it's... Game. To be fair, look at that, a 2 as well. Yeah. You did roll a 19. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Still, yeah, that's like... looking over it. <laughs> that's, oh, at least, that you, that's at least some variety. <laughs> However, only one is a 10. The rest are all single digits. <laughs> <laughs> See, you wasted them. For shits and giggles. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, only one of them was semi-decent so far. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Three nines. Yeah. Roll 20. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no roll kind of killed us and just sort of just kept on going and making <laughs> this. Why are you failing death saves? There we go. <laughs> Even that's terrible. Two seventeens, but the rest are all below ten. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. Pardon that's, the slight interruption of the session while we just roll fucking dice. Yeah. Because fuck roll, roll twenty 20. has an interesting dice algorithm. Yeah. I thought the one that cyanized you for Blood Bowl was bad, but holy shit! Oh, you wasted it. <laughs> nice. I was like. Well, there's our nat 20s for the night. Well, well done. No, no, that's not the important part. The important part is the total. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think the um, 
it's been mm-hmm. flushed being just under 10 for now. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that was so beautiful. <laughs> That's how probability works, right, kids? <laughs> You've used up all your pals in this game. You'll get pushes from now on. Enjoy it. Anyway, we all suck at chess. Now <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius, at the end of it, you feel that maybe your skills have downgraded a bit. Uh, We're rubbing off on you. You've you've studied these moves, and you feel you shouldn't have, but you just had to work out how. And it just doesn't fit. (laughs) It's like watching one of Droop's spells. It just... Shouldn't work. (laughs) But they didn't do anything illegal. (laughs) Work it out step by step. Yeah. And then... You splinter away into your own bedrooms. A peaceful night. And an early morning looms ahead. For some. Oh, no. I don't know, but... That would have been funny, though. Lorna is still a six-limbed, gangly thing. The legs look too long, too spindly. She hasn't grown into them properly. Cornelius? No tiefling this time. (laughs) Nothing unusual. A perfectly remembered evening and morning. With your clothing laid out by Droop. Ah, order in this chaos. Of course, you've still got the big black mark around you. Yeah. The big gang uh, tattoo that's that's suddenly appeared. Mark of ownership, some would say. (laughs) (laughs) Rain again of a nice plush apartment. (laughs) Ah, It's almost like I'm sleeping better than Cornelius right now. Yeah, it is the type of room he might feel comfortable in. (laughs) Although he probably wouldn't choose the same company in bed. (laughs) <laughs> probably not I, I just assume probably not but there is just that weird thing of well smoothing that's a very loud and a large amount of purring <laughs> that is a larger All quantity of, my- of purring than you are used to hearing close to you yeah but purring is really nice it, it's a nice comforting sound considering I own four cats so yeah. I know all about it's just that. it's a larger qu- it's a larger quantity is it louder than Lorna, though? No. <laughs> but then hers is also a bit raspy and growl-filled. I imagine hers is kind of like when you hear the uh, tigers or lions. <laughs> like, Malgurn, it do- it's not a little house cat purring. It is a beast. <laughs> so... Oh, Rena just picked up the cat, and I heard a and I was like, speaking of uh, <laughs> beasts. Speaking of Lorna's. Yeah. Any conversations or important actions before you get out the gates? Well, I would assume, because we discussed it, and I remember discussing it, that Cornelius gave Rain the bottle, right? Yeah. Okay, then that, that would be a, a topic of conversation, asking if that was the brand. Ah, uh, hmm. I don't normally look at the labels as he just <laughs> eyes it down, up and down. Um, possibly. I mean, I it's, can't read. <laughs> it's my brother that sorted all this out. I haven't actually seen the produce. <laughs> it's something I can ask him though. It's a mild curiosity. Um, oh! Is this related to uh, Mr. Scent, then? It is. That's where the curiosity is coming from. Ah, I see. Oh, so he's not in ownership of it anymore. No, he's not. Very tragic. I don't know the whole story behind that, though. I mean, you saw most of the story just with meeting his brother. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> at least understand. I know where the brother is. I don't know where Cornelius fits in all of that. <laughs> the family seems very weird. Ah, oh, well, you know. The blue-blooded, they do get a bit eccentric at times. As you sit in this room with this Catman Spencer and his many <laughs> his feathered hats and his room filled with tchotchkes and little bits of mementos from all over the fucking world. His shelf of fertility idols. <laughs> colorful rugs draped everywhere. A monogram okay. bathrobe. I think it's less the blue blood and anything to do with money. <laughs> oh, I suppose, I suppose, yes. I, I know my dad, even my dad, got weird sometimes. Well, I have to say, so, okay. today is an unusual day for me. Oh? Well, I've not, I've not seen a person of my affection off to a dangerous situation. <laughs> Normally, it's the other way around. Oh, you've always got to change things up a little bit sometimes. Oh yes, um, I think we'll be doing that again sometime whenever we come back. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting timing, but I'm sure we'll be back. Yes, shortly. please do return safe. <laughs> well, I fully intend to. Oh, I'll be seeing you off the gates. I shouldn't be doing this here. We should just be getting ready. <laughs> oh, yes, that's fair. She, she moves to slowly go get dressed. Life is not fair. He follows. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Malgar and you wake up just covered in slobber. Small fur, small hair. A paw on your face. But does he wake into a giant purr? always be worse. She probably shat in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Your room is pretty much bare because you never decorated it. But I did... Uh, actually, no. Did we cover a litter box? I don't know if we did. <laughs> <laughs> did you buy a fucking sandbox? <laughs> <laughs> She's just been in that room for an entire day. What'd you expect to happen? <laughs> I'm sure there's... I just get drooped. Get drooped and pressed or something. I, I know that's not how that works. But you wake up like you're in the enclosure of a zoo. Sadly, he's had worse. <laughs> Sadly, he had worse. I know. I wait. That's not the right. You're right. Well, I mean, his dad. His dad crate trained him for the first couple of years. <laughs> Fine. Not, not <laughs> fully it's awake. just a nice clash. <laughs> not fully awake, you know. It's like, oh lord, that's, that, that's soft. That's nice. Oh, oh, cat. Yeah, as you're opening your eyes, she presses down your cheek a bit, and you see the claws flex out. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Her paws is now is now. Basically, your head. Oh, but she, she must, she must you know, still hunt. She must be hungry. I'm good kid. I'll be, I'll be back. I'm a food. <laughs> As the sounds of you stepping around. The door beside you creaks open slightly, and then Pufflesworth is slid out into the hall. <laughs> he looks very well, surprised as he as he flumps in a heap beside you. Good morning to you too. And I'm looking back at the door. I assume it's closing. Yeah. Let's. You know what? We we all let's let's all let's, we'll, give you, we'll give you some food too, buddy. <laughs> He jabs his beak at your shoe. Yeah. No, food, not shoe. Yeah, he follows behind. Yeah, and I don't know what we have in this house, but I'm sure I can find something. Just assorted foodstuffs, because we don't want to get into that sort of logistical crap. Yeah. 
so I'm I'm scrounging up food, and then, and then eventually I will show Pufflesworth that I have food, and then go back. He to takes the an interest in the food, yes. <laughs> yeah, so he'll probably follow me. Oh, you bring him into the room? Yeah, because I'm still asleep. I'm still half asleep. I'm just like, okay, yeah, we'll get the food. I'll go in here. We'll we'll all eat. It's fine. Yeah. I, I'm aware. I'm aware of what I'm doing. I'm there's an immediate aware. contest. <laughs> I am, I am fully aware of what I'm doing, but he's not whole, all awake. So. <laughs> so let's see here. <laughs> Athletics from Pufflesworth. That's pretty good, buddy. It is. Huh? He Holy shit! <laughs> he shoves Lorna aside to get at the food you set down in front of her. Just <laughs> pushing his whole flat face into it. Okay, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, and you just see her lift the big paw up, ready to put it down. Yeah, yeah and I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to get in the middle of it. No, no, <laughs> we all eat same time. <laughs> Still not fully aware of the situation. <laughs> Pufflesworth is still going to town on whatever, whatever was set down, yeah. whereas Lorna's head is just bumping against what's in your hand now, and man, that's a big head now. Yeah, because I'm still holding a piece of meat when I'm like, no, try to separate you two. I literally just shove meat in Lorna's video. You know, not fully aware of what's going on here. This could be terrible. The raspy tongue comes out, and you feel, oh, 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 okay. That's, that's oh, prickly. God. That's more than prickly. Ah, okay. Oh, Ow. Ow. <laughs> Here, take the, take the, take it. <laughs> you don't, on the bright side... <laughs> She takes it, and you're not bleeding afterwards, so that's good. Hey, all right. She could have, though, because fuck me, those are some teeth. Yeah. They really grew in a lot faster. I'm going to quickly try to munch on my little bit of meat before somebody else tries to get at it. <laughs> As I look at the little shit, like, okay, he's occupied now. This is fine. I'm going for it. <laughs> Eventually, Pufflesworth just rolls back with a huge swollen gut. <laughs> the legs just hanging out to the side. <laughs> Still has a scowl on his face. And it's what? just... There's just food coating what? the feathers What a and little fur. shit! <laughs> what a little shit! We're all full now and he's still scowling! What a little shit! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Are you because surprised? Mom, no, I'm not! <laughs> I, I'm still, you know, eventually when, when I get over this food situation, I'm going to come back to the realization that, yeah, she literally just booted him out. I didn't boot him out! <laughs> that was Orbison. <laughs> Yeah. Mind you, he might not know that. Like I said, I was half asleep when I did most of this, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know... I said, I literally took food back to a small room with two animals. <laughs> and there's such the a... Smartest. And there's an unpleasant <laughs> smell in this very close room. Yeah. <laughs> Malkirin might be sleeping in stables. <laughs> might have become that, yeah. I mean, the for, the next, side of the house. Yeah. for the next few weeks, it's probably not going to be necessary. At least nature will take care of the uh, When was the last time Malgurn had a bath? What, at the bathhouse? Yeah, so, you know, he probably... Didn't no, no, no. You were press digitized the day before. Oh, for the, for the day before. Yeah, okay. I, I was clean. <laughs> but then you just laid down <laughs> on the floor... Not even borrowing your bed roll. I don't, I don't even have a bed. I just use I just use the cat. I don't need a bed. I just use the cat. Coated it in sweat, blood, and failure. I don't know. Both of these animals seem pretty happy right now. I think I'm doing good. He didn't even notice that he that Zarzil was underneath the table, curled up against Wolfgang. <laughs> Where do you think I got the idea of sleeping on Lorna from? He just sleeps <laughs> under the kit. For some reason, he just slips sleeps under the kitchen table. Yeah. It's out of the way. It's in the kitchen where the food is, if necessary. Yeah, it's a very central location. That's prime real estate. Prime real estate. <laughs> and eventually, Bad. the two ladies arrive. One from the bedroom, one at the front door. <laughs> I was like, what, what, what lady was, other lady wasn't here? <laughs> I was waiting for the whole orbit, so what, what's your name again? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would have stopped by to get Puffles or at something nice for record. <laughs> you figure he'd do with a chicken. Yep. 
rotisserie cooked. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Wow, what a spoiled fucking brat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, There's I'm a reason he's a little night. shit. <laughs> yeah. I was gone last night, so I mean, I gotta spoil him a little bit. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Because you don't know where Pubbles are. <laughs> so, knock, 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 knock. <laughs> oh, hey. So you get him. Oh, is he out? Uh, yeah, I heard someone stomping about, so I slid him out there. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> I look around. He's out of the bottom floor. Oh, yeah, don't even ask about the scratches or anything. Yeah, just to see you. And he oh. closes the door again. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Is he covered in scratches? He's got, a few, he's got a few scratch marks on him, yeah, and a slightly torn shirt. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Okay, then, then I'd ask, uh, oh, did you have a interesting night oh it was fine just at night time he decided to get up in the middle of the night and just fucking maul me or something i think he was hungry <laughs> she looks very confused I, I i apologize hold on um let me let me fix that uh, <laughs> no no it, it's it's fine it's fine are you, are you sure yeah oh, okay. it's really hard to tell from his expression because he's just so fucking blank <laughs> Because, I mean, she did offer she was going to. Oh, okay. Fine, just let me bleed out in peace. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, it's only little walking. scratches and all, like... It's not big fucking rents in the flesh or anything. Thanks for watching him. I, I, I go to the next room and I knock on Maldegurna's door to see if he's seen him. <laughs> she just sits there gnawing on a single yep. slice of ham. Yeah. Uh. Kind of, kind of walk over. I'm still, still munching on like bits of meat. Good morning. Hey, have, have you seen Puffleworth? Oh, uh, I, I. At the sound of your voice, Puffleworth just yeah. rolls slightly and starts to push himself along with the back legs. And I'm gonna move out of the way when I just smearing his face and the food that was caught up on it onto the floor. Hey, Puffleworth. Big fat <laughs> rotund belly. <laughs> <laughs> and I produce the chicken so he, he can see it. He's already the paws go up immediately, <laughs> cheeping. Right, come on up over here. She totally ignored what I said. <laughs> yep. He very slowly <laughs> scoots and drags himself along. <laughs> I, I give him the chicken. I close my door. It's fuck. It. Like he starts in on it, then you see he looks a bit sort of he sw sways a bit. And he just puts his face against it and just rests there for a bit. <laughs> and then the paws come round to keep it close. Uh huh. I, I see you. You must have already had some breakfast, buddy. Okay. I give him a little pet. He pulls the chicken closer. Yeah, I figured. But then he leans into the strokes. But <laughs> now and then he breaks away to start chewing more of the chicken. You are a silly little brat, but I like you anyways. <laughs> she enjoys little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly worthless. <laughs> yes, he is, but he's an adorable worthless. There was that great time when he had more confirmed kills in Rain. <laughs> One or two fights against the Blights and he managed to get a couple of kills. <laughs> oh, boy. And yeah, congrats, finally, let's get Stally out of the bedroom. <laughs> so then, Droop, right? Droop, are we about ready to pack, have everything packed up? Is everything accounted for? Uh, yes. Alright, well, let's go through this once more. <laughs> He brings out his little sheaf. Sheaf of parchment. As you notice, it's got your different bits, different every single garment you have. Weirdly described, but you're pretty sure you own all of this. As he starts to tick it all off. Yes, I packed this, I packed this, I packed this, I put those in, yes, I kept them together, yes. And the inks, and the parchment, uh... And the scrolls, uh, both books, yeah, I think I got everything. Alright, very good job. Oh, cutlery, I need to get cutlery, and he s speeds out of a room down the stairs and into the kitchen. 
Calm down, Drupal. It's got plenty of time. Don't fall on the way down. And then there is congrats on the balcony. Big stretch with the huge scaled mass that he is. Then he remembers something and walks back into the room. <laughs> Keep forgetting I'm in a place with lots of our people. <laughs> <laughs> Then he's back out with trousers. <laughs> morning, congrats. Yeah, morning. Today we set off. Hopefully, yes. I don't see much reason we wouldn't. Hopefully the car should be... The car should be arriving today so we can... set the horses to it. And everyone should, most of us should be able to have some amount of transport. And I, re I realize this, because he's got that 10 foot increase from being that, an Oath of Glory Paladin, he doesn't need a horse, he can run the same fucking speed as them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is a fucking image. Full plate armored, massive dragonborn. <laughs> just, just bounding just at the like same a, speed as a charger. <laughs> it just sounds like a, a bag of cans just being rustled around. You gotta imagine there's a fucking crater behind every footstep. It's like I'm the juggernaut. <laughs> uh, and heroic deeds await. Hopefully so. All right, then. After you. Oh, yeah, of course. She realized there's just not enough room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had... Well, he checks in the room first. Yeah, I'll, I'll give her a minute or two. And then down the stairs. Ah. Wave of greeting to both Rain and Horizon. Even this early in the morning, there was a full flourish of a hat from Horizon. <laughs> morning, Rain. Morning, Horizon. Good morning, Mr. Scent. Good morning. So, ready for the, for the journey ahead? I'd say Are so. That's in order? Yes. Good. I'll just be uh, seeing you off. <laughs> Very kind of you. Yes. I, I would, of course, offer to be at the side of my lady, but I do unfortunately have a lot of responsibilities to my family. Understandable oh. enough. Then we'll be quite all right. So, um, please keep an eye on her. As the event looks at Pufflesworth. Looks at the leash connecting Pufflesworth to Rain. <laughs> Thinking that maybe she doesn't make all the right decisions. <laughs> just a loud popping burp from Pufflesworth as he continues to just gnaw on the chicken. Intent to devour it, even if it makes him sick. I don't think he's going to do very much in keeping me safe, but uh, he'll try. <laughs> I'm sure he will, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I was not in here when I said any of that, so... Yeah. I, I, I said, um, I rather suspect he'll do exactly the opposite. Yes, um, possibly. <laughs> He's just thinking now, I have a very lavish apartment, I have a lot of very fine fabrics, all of them easily stained. And he just looks at the grease-covered, crumb-flecked face of Pufflesworth. There is a reason he has not come with. <laughs> <laughs> now, from... of course. Hmm? Yeah, now, of course. Big question is, how are we going to get that this place of beast out of here?
uh, crouching panic in the streets. I would expect that we use the cart, the covered cart, and keep Lorna in the covered cart. Well, assuming that she isn't going to displace outside of the cart. Did Malgurn ever get the leash that he was supposed to get? Probably not, no. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> she, I love how everybody's like, no. She, she kind of rubbed her temples. Okay. Uh, do we have... Uh, do we use as a, a leash? Oh. Uh, she I mean, wait here for this. As congrats badly sneaks away from you guys back upstairs to go fetch Castalia. <laughs> Since you're all doing logistics talk. We have rope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the my cobalt question, said. My question is... Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yes, in theory we can use that in a pinch, but she would also shred rope in two seconds. That's why Pucklesworth isn't done up with rope. They're, they're yeah, talking well, about the displacer beast. I figured you're ready to face the morning. <sighs> yes. Yeah. We've probably got another not ten minutes. Not that so. kind of morning, but not that <laughs> morning. But I'm just suggesting well. we'll, we've probably got ten minutes. Quick cuddle. Quick snuggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's closing the door behind him. A struggle snuggle. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have time for that. The bed almost breaking. <laughs> As he just gets on it. That's all it takes. And then back to the discussion about the fucking monster that you guys have made a pet. The Which one? Garen has made a pet. Which one? The kobold. No, oh, he's fine. He's paper trained. <laughs> I don't know. Is Pufflesworth think... paper trained? Fuck no. We all know that. So who's been cleaning up his Group. mistakes? No, also Rain, because she can press the digitate too. Not teaching him to go anywhere, just cleaning it up. Well, she would be trying. The question is if she would succeed or not. Roll ammo handling. <laughs> Fifteen. Let's take a look at Pufflesworth here. Too bad I didn't have that, otherwise it would have been a critical success and that boy would be paper trained like it's nobody's nope. business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He teaches you to respond quicker with presentation. <laughs> <laughs> you now know the signals of when he's going to poop. <laughs> and he ah, expects you I'm... to be there now. <laughs> If I know the signals, then at least that's half my way to figuring out how to get him to stop. <laughs> but, um... I'm so glad I put this in. But all right, so I guess we'll we'll, we'll use the rope if we absolutely have to. Where's Malgurn? Is he still in the room? Oh, bugger! Yeah, I am. I I, I go, knock 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 knock. Yeah. Can you come out? We're discussing how the heck to get your displacer beast out of this house. Droop sneaks um, in to start cleaning up the room. Yeah, it's, it's fine. We can't. What do you mean? Fine. She just leaves. Not fully grasping the situation. Malgurn, you have a giant displacer beast. Uh huh, and nobody's gonna fuck with me because I have a giant displacer beast. <laughs> Malgurn, you're going to cause a panic in the streets with your giant displacer beast. Oh, that's their problem. No, it's your problem. You need to have. Did you get the leash? <laughs> Slowly remembering. No, no. What, what do you mean? Malgurn woke up thinking today was gonna be different. Today was not gonna be a day I was gonna be bitched at. <laughs> and Rain just had to. Fucking ruin it. <laughs> it's going so well. We're going to have to find a way at least to get a lead on her. Because there is no way anybody's just going to accept her just in a cart. <laughs> yeah, she... What do you mean? You wanted to pull the cart? I'm not, I'm not following. No, no, no. She needs to be in the cart, but she also needs to have a leash so that when somebody asks if she's controlled, the answer is yes. Hopefully. 
Oh, it's fine. She's controlled, and I, I reach up to, to pet the, the the displacer beast. Yeah, yeah, the the kitty. Yeah, yeah. See, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, she nearly she lifts you off your feet as she just bumps you with her head. Yeah, see, it's fine. She, she's fine. <laughs> She yawns, and you just see all those fucking teeth and a jaw your head can fit inside. All those teeth twice, because the other cat right nearby is yawning, too. Yeah. Yep. And then just mouth closes and lip. <laughs> and it's just a pa- to know what to do. there's just a paw going over you, so she's just sort of leading part of her weight. She just rings rubbing her temples. Malgurn. She is not a kitten. She is a full-grown displacer beast. You have to have something to keep her under control. There's a wretch from Pufflesworth and then just a black. Uh, why am I not surprised? As Evan starts to nuzzle yeah. and continue to gnaw on the chicken he just threw up on. Uh, <laughs> nope. I go right on over there and I press to digitate the ever-loving bejesus out of it. <laughs> so now you have some clean chicken bones. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> His face is finally clean. <laughs> and the and the rotund belly just keeps getting larger. Yep. So she presses digitates all, all all of that and Pufflesworth and then goes back to Malgurn and says, Malgurn, you cannot treat Lorna like a kitten. She's a displacer beast. The irony completely escaping rain. <laughs> As she goes one step I was about to say it, I was like, and you are. You <laughs> don't see me treating Pufflesworth like a dog. Pufflesworth is an owl. Yeah. <laughs> she pulls on yeah. his leash. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 the leash couldn't be on right now. He's in the, he's in the house. Uh, again, me. further driving home the point. You don't that see you me. You don't have a. You don't see me treating Pufflesworth like a dog. Preston digitates him, serves him the chicken. <laughs> and yeah, Preston digitates the vomit off the floor. Scratch behind the ear, see if the tail wags. <laughs> it's almost like Rain is Pufflesworth's droop. <laughs> Pufflesworth. A few more successful half elf handling rolls, and she will be. <laughs> <laughs> can't help but feel like he's making behind the scenes this whole time. Point, point is, Malgurn, you have to take responsibility of Lorna and know that she is not a little kitten anymore, okay? That includes getting something that can actually restrain her if you need to. She's a giant displacer beast and a teenager. Begrudgingly, just fine. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I missed. Uh, oh, nice. That guy did animal, animal handling against the door panel. Oh, we did. That was a seven. <laughs> Thank you. <fuck. laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah. It's weird. I'm sick of you guys leaving these animals untrained soon they're going to train you. <laughs> hey, we were wor- we spent a lot of time training the last couple of episodes. Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> well, you, you can't complain we don't train them and then complain... Yeah, there was a whole them. episode on it. It was a Zarzul episode, remember? And finally, the two horned ones emerge from the bedroom. Uh, uh, good morning. Yeah, let me get that for you. Starts brushing her hair a bit so it's not flattened on one side. Mm, thank you. Good morning, Castalia. Good morning. Is everyone prepared to go? Zazul had been busy in the kitchen. He's cooked up all the parish rolls and leftovers together. And a nice meal of sorts. It's before we leave, we may as well get rid of a few other things. Oh, wonderful! But, yep. So there is breakfast available for those who <laughs> wish to have some. Uh, let me 
you seem to have emptied most of the larder for this. <laughs> well, we can't exactly... Uh, well, I left that for Auburn's scene. Uh, but he's got oh, some okay, food. that's what I was worried yeah, about, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. been a bit rude to just no... empty the house and let him keep yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, I, I left some, but the, the stuff that was sort of getting a, a bit close to date, as it were. All right. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy to chow down. So, we're heading right there? Hopefully. Don't see much reason to be dilly-dallying much more. Every day is a race against time, after all. Are we going to risk the roads or just head into the wilds? Well, I suppose we'll be we'll be taking the the start on the roads, and I guess we'll have to uh, take that decision once we get further out. Well, I was expecting probably a mix of both. At some point, the roads will be faster, but eventually they'll get too dangerous. Yeah, probably all right. Jamie, out of the gate. All right, then. Well, I do believe most of our belongings are packed, are ready for being put on the wagon. Oh, that's, that's right. You make a quick purchase. I'll be back in a bit. A bump against Castelli's face, and he's out the door. <laughs> and he's back in again, and goes back upstairs to get his coin purse and shirt. <laughs> and then back down again. I'll be back in a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was he always this absent-minded? I think Not something's really. been distracting him. Uh, Rain just gets that look of, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one did. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, maybe it's not forgetfulness, more just, um, excitement. He seems to go full bore. Perhaps. Zazzle's gonna start loading up the, um, cart with dry rations and that sort of thing, so we've got food for the road. And various supplies. Realize you'll probably have to talk to your neighbor about the horse you left him. Well, the horse is. Mm -hmm. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> I should go check on that. Um, I'll be taking some money with me to help pay for whatever food they've eaten on the way while I've been waiting yeah, around. I mean, the two are still in that little common area. They look healthy. They look well brushed. Yep. Yeah, you give a knock on the door. Oh! Yep. I remember you. Yes, next door, that's right, yes. Yes, so, sorry for leaving for so long but you never came for dinner <laughs> yes we got distracted we've been sort of busy um oh, all right various man. things yeah um we're going to be leaving town for a while and we'll be taking our horses with us oh Here, yes here's, okay. some uh, here's some payment for your uh work it's oh that's very gracious of you. yes I, I i admit i was going to have to bring up the topic at some point but yes thank you very much is tin gold enough? Oh, certainly, yes, that'll do perfectly fine. Oh, excellent. Here you go. Thank you greatly. Um, I'll look after him when you get back, if you wish. That would be much appreciated. Thank you, good sir. Um, I have no idea when that's going to be. Also, if it helps, um, this one, as he points to the one that usually pulls the cart. Answers to Maisie very comfortably. Oh, that, that's good to know. Thank you, good sir. As you may have realized, you guys never named the horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who names their horses? I mean, everybody! Well, it's more a case of you have a name for every horse you go for. <laughs> <laughs> 
if you're using it for combat anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think Castalia was the only one who had a horse with a name. I assume. <laughs> I think you assume wrongly. While. Not for a while, and I've forgotten it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since the horses have been a factor in anything. Did, yeah. did Indra name the horse that she rode off on, never to return? <laughs> well, no, you got the horse back, I think. <laughs> oh, did we? Huh. Can I use that horse as a back and forth thing to explain absences? <laughs> huh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and get the horses over to the cart. Well, they're trained, so it's not that much of a challenge. Excellent. It's just one Excellent. of them does turn his head to the left and you're lifted right off the ground for a moment, but they don't go cantering off or anything. All right, row cobalt handling. <laughs> he probably has a button for that. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. I was like, I'm waiting. I was like, does he have a button for this? <laughs> you never know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. So what are you guys up to? Uh, mostly just doing inventory, kind of stay in the basement, making sure that the uh, things are getting packed into some of the crates we have there. Rain's stuff was probably already done, because I don't see her unpacking everything. She would probably just leave everything in her packs. Um, Zazu's going to go up to Cornelius and say, um, how much money should we leave Orbenstein to pay rent? Or should we just show him where the chest is? If he well, hasn't found it already. <laughs> I would imagine 200 gold should be suffice. That's your last, just in case it somehow takes the uh, a long time. That's basically a month. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Do we take the chest with us? Okay, I assume I, so. I don't really see the point. We may have to ditch the cart on the way back. Who knows? Hmm. Fair enough point. In that case, people should take stock about what they're going to bring then. Um, Zazel's going to check the secret room and see if there's a book, uh, there's a cabinet or something you can push it in front of the door <laughs> to, to hide it a bit further. <laughs> I mean, it does blend in really well unless you know it's, if you, if you don't know it's there. Yeah, true. But if we could just have something sitting over where the button to get in is anyway makes it that little bit harder. I mean, you put a couple of boxes over that you were using to hold goods, and you just think, hmm, it does look a little suspicious, because it's in the middle of a wall, but there's just these two boxes now sitting here. <laughs> uh, okay. It kind of calls attention to it. Hmm. Oh, well. No, well I'll just uh, leave it be, then. I can't remember. Is that where you put your hoard? Well, I... uh, that that Sorry. yeah, uh, yeah, that that's where the chest and all the stuff is in there, I think, from memory. Yeah, I'm just wondering where was Zarzul's personal hoard stashed? Ah, uh, because he's yeah. probably not going to leave that behind. <laughs> mm. Or is he? Uh, he uh, he's filled up the cummerbund. <laughs> it only holds a couple of <laughs> coins or one fucking knife. <laughs> you in there the rest is uh, 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 <laughs> yeah no, he's gonna he's gonna leave part of his hoard behind he can't justify taking it with him <laughs> I, met, I imagine he's probably hitting it in the kitchen underneath the floorboard or something no actually i've hidden it part way down inside the chest <laughs> one day cornelius just checks the paneling of his desk and realizes it's all been hollowed out filled with coins <laughs> no, no the ch in the chest itself with all the rest of the money <laughs> just hidden it away down in there <laughs> no one will ever know it's hidden amongst itself 
just looking at should we bring this chest plate along the magical chest plate we have not yet been using there's also a magical wedding dress that's not been used yep he's been waiting for another excuse to bring that up there's a lot of magical stuff that's not been fucking used <laughs> I'm out of attunement slots, so... Well, we might be... Well... Just like might be... At the very least, we can... Uh, one of the mercenaries might be able to use it all when we're releasing prisoners. At least I mean, in some... theory, I could get rid of the hat and switch it out for the armor. I mean, there's the shiny bone dagger. No! <laughs> By the way, how's Arzul's hand doing? <laughs> Still has a couple of those... Pale scales on it. It didn't go yeah, away. But it hasn't been spreading. Nope. So. Hasn't yeah. gone away either. Just gonna yeah. point out that one of the things you got listed in treasury is one tube with thing. <laughs> so good job there on keeping your records. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we had open that tube at some point. I think that might have been the one with the catnap in it. Yeah. <coughs> but how could you know? Because you've gotten a few tubes. Some with thing. <laughs> There's also your fancy staff made of black spongy wood, but you got off a shaman. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to be twirling that around, Cornelius? Did they ever... Did they ever, did they ever identify that one? Yes. Yeah. You find out you can do Entangle, you can do Misty Step, and you can do Blight Skin. Mm. You can also get temp HP when you hit people with it. Oh, yeah. Which isn't really gonna happen. I'm not a melee range character. Alright, now you can continue. I'll need to jump off for a few moments. Be right back. <laughs> Fuck's sake. One tube with thing. <laughs> that was a really long time ago, too. Doobadoo. So, what are you guys up to then? One yeah, I know. It has been a Malgurin episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be better next time. I You've also got the armband with True Strike. Once a day. <laughs> it, it, it does take an attunement slot, though. I spent a turn fantasizing about killing him, and I got... <laughs> so it's attuned, and we still need to take an action to the user. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. Malgurn could use his action to use True Strike and then Action Surge. <laughs> and that's a terrible idea, and I would never do that. <laughs> or you could attack twice. I was like, or I could attack twice, Action Surge, and attack twice again. It's the same damn thing. Yep. I was like, I get two attacks, same as fucking True Strike. Oh no, it's definitely uh, better to do four attacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could use True Strike. The axe and surge, attack yeah. once with advantage, and then attack once more. Yep, yeah. she only get one advantage. But I, I just, I just like that. She points out in the video. Couldn't I have just attacked him twice, rolling two d8s, taking the high <laughs> with twice the potential damage output? <laughs> there are about four situations where True Strike is worth it in the entirety of D&D &D situations. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not saying there isn't any of No, but I'm saying in the infinite yeah. realm of possibilities, there's, there's four, exactly roughly four, four yeah. but True Strike would be someone, useful. In. Someone's already puzzled it out for us. I just didn't bother to look. Like Mage Hand works in pretty much all of those infinite possibilities for True Strike. No, just about four. That's being generous. Yeah. And they're probably highly situational and specialized. Yes. To which you would never build around True Strike in such a way, so no. fuck it. Unless you were going for the memes. 
well... even there. <laughs> you can't do anything useful with it. Which is why you gave us a magical item with it. Because you're like, I wonder if they're going to use it. Yeah, but don't forget who gave you that item. That's why it's shit. <laughs> you got that from Albert. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rain would suggest that we actually bring the wedding dress along in case any of our rescuees need something to wear. Uh-huh. So, so that we... As she goes Don't and gets it. the wedding dress and walks past Horizon. No, no, she would not go to <laughs> I'll grab the magic great axe and keep that with me. Looks like a beast. You can throw it, but it'll get stuck. And I know, it's it's only out. stuck for people who aren't attuned to it. Uh, that is, oh, that's nice. That was a trick. Hmm. It takes effort for other people to wrench it out, sword in its own style. <laughs> but you could also just let it be stuck. True. Which gives it opportunities to be used in certain situations. Well, who the fuck knows what those are going to be? Moving on. Alright, so we've got the wedding dress, we've got the ring with the maid outfit and the fancy dress. <laughs> We're saving you. Put this on. What? what? Um, How? Might... Am I going to repay you very quickly? <laughs> they, they might have, they might not have appropriate attire if they're dark. I assume they probably got better than maid outfit. Oh, yeah. Then again, you never know. I don't know. Weirder things have occurred. <laughs> and I'm also going to bring the wooden sword. Ah, yes, I might need to rejig that one. It's not bad how it is. Space damage is a little low, but it's still not that bad. Potentially very powerful. Mm hmm. 15 foot at range is very nice. Yeah, I might need to stick a time limit on that. Well, actually, I think that's a charge thing, that one. It's the charge. Yeah. That also has never been used. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it's base damage. is only 1d4, so it's like... Eh. But it does have armor of Agathus on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what I toned down. That used to be a lot stronger. Yeah. And I'm back again. Welcome back. And so is Congrats, with a tent slung over his shoulder. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, because I don't think all of us would fit in the hut. Oh. Oh, what? Uh, didn't know you used that spell, I think. Can't remember if, that, if you guys did use that with Congrats around. No, we haven't. How many people can fit in the hut, by the way? Six. Six. We have passed. Um, yeah. yeah, we have a knot cat that probably takes up room of four. Yeah, well, Nine you're... creatures of medium size or smaller oh. can fit inside the dome with you. Okay, nine to medium. That's not medium. <laughs> <laughs> Technically not a medium. What do you mean, technically, really? Definitely a small... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually a small, by categorization. Well, His token should be half I, that size, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. So large, we even each other out. So we have four mediums, two smalls, and two <laughs> No, no, a dwarf is a medium. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I was counting. I was a counting. large fry... <laughs> a big number two. Large, yeah. the, there's the two all. Smalls, yeah, the, the two smalls was Droop and Zarzel. Yep, there's oh, all the your mediums. I forgot, I, I forgot Wolfgang. <laughs> yeah, and then we have fucking Lorna. Good wow. timing in that line as he moved the token. Just 
bust through the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're all gonna fit in the in the hut now. <laughs> mm. So Rain wants Melgarin to go get a harness for Lorna. Go buy a saddle instead. <sighs> oh, you probably would have to because look at all the size of her. Nobody's gonna have a harness for her. The problem is at the moment. She's got a lot of size and legs, but she's lanky as hell. She does. She hasn't fully grown in muscled. Mm. Yeah, and also probably tomorrow she'll outgrow the harness. She's at that gangly okay. stage, cats. All right, cats so I'm gonna need a magic harness. Well, Fuck. Um, if I recall, she's gonna fill out, but she's at the correct size. So as long as you can tighten. All right, so I need the artificer. I need a magic harness. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> oh, a magic, magic saddle. Fuggle clumps. Actually, a regular saddle would probably work. Because you can it have, take... It'd have to yeah. be custom made. Yeah. Yeah, she's not the same build as a horse. <laughs> yeah. No, six it's legs nice. is hard to cut for. Yeah, so I do have this belt, but besides the base requiring it, right, that's the, there is at the moment, I would also assume that the two of you would re require some amount of privacy. It's appreciated. Yeah. I mean, we only do it when appropriate anyway. <laughs> Being deep in enemy territory, but exciting is not the kind of situation for vets. True, true. Although. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's enough people on watch. Just gives her a tilt of the head. <laughs> Very large hand and small devil hand. Yeah, anyway, I just thought it was good to get me on digs. <laughs> so, Malgarn, do you gotta try and rush a saddle? I'm gonna, I guess I gotta try to rush something. Um,. Not sure if it would be a saddle per se, but we're gonna try to get something. I mean, a saddle would probably be the short, the, the easiest thing to get on very short notice. Yeah, I just don't think it'll last. I don't so know. Long. A harness would be a lot simpler. Oh, you, th you think I could get okay? A harness would be a lot simpler because it is band on top, band on bottom, that sort of thing. Oh, oh, that yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll get. Yeah, or it's a heavy. saddle has to fit her spine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we'll go. For, I, I was, I was overthinking it. But well, they're gonna have to make it. I was like, he's like, no, he's right. They can use the strips of leather, and rings, uh, a couple of strips of leather and some buckles, and you're done. Where's the yeah. saddle? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking I could kind of jury rig a like a horse saddle, but you know the, the harness makes sense. Yeah, as you look so, at her prowl around right now, just bored. That's not a very horsey way to move. That's not a very horsey posture. Uh, harness very, it is alright yeah. she's very much got more butt in the air than she's got head in the air from constant prowl mode so are you taking a route to get fitted uh -huh. what are you doing man yeah I guess we have to yeah, yeah. how are you going to do that I mean, that are you going to have that are you going to have to say that I have a special custom order but I kind of need you to go th to my house I don't know. I think that Do we have anything idea. to measure? Malgarin, they're going to have to measure. Uh, if we go bring the measurements to the... And tell them that you're going to need to bring them here to do the measurement. There is uh, no way you're going to get her out on the streets. No, I was thinking, can I take the... I really have nothing to take the measurements myself. I guess she's right. Shit. Even if you could make the measurements, they're going to need... It's going to be custom measurements. Uh, fine. I mean, as you move towards the door, she seems quite excited to follow. Lorna, but she's also huge. Yeah. <laughs> Lorna, sit. Okay, she's a, she's not a cat, but she is a cat-like beast. That's definitely not going to work. <laughs> that works for mine. <laughs> Does it? Awesome. Yeah! Let's see. I tell them to sit sometimes, and they do. Down. Now. Yeah. <laughs> See, I am better with the animal. 
So I told Lorna to sit. To sit. <laughs> She's trained Malgurin something first. <laughs> Algern sits, he doesn't know why. <laughs> oh. Just looks at you and you realize, um, okay, good kitty. You tried, good, good that's kitty. what matters. You, you just... <laughs> Sasul, do you... Who was it that did the the harness, the uh, armor for your wolf? That was the lid the worker. Um... A distressingly fat halfling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do, you think you, do you think you could perhaps convince them to come over here? <laughs> Um, I'm thinking about the half thing and wondering if it survived the trip. <laughs> Bring Malgurn with you. We'll watch Lorna. Uh, I'm, I'm still I trying mean, to we squeak try. out. It. I'm not sure. He might be able to send an apprentice over to get the measurements. Um, I, I, I give, I give Malgurn directions. That's probably the best. Sorry, sorry, well, can you please go with him? Does, I does, think he's going to need help. Is Lorna going to let me leave? Hmm. Lorna. Well, yeah, we'll just say you know what. We'll just say I got the right. I, I'm still in the doorway. Yeah, she's going to let you leave. Okay. Now, is, is Zarzul coming? That's my next question. Uh, okay, I'll come with. Come with just to. Help. There's a worrying bit, Sarzul, as you pass by the door, and Lorna is just a, a cat nose sniffing at you fervently. <laughs> it's very big. Yeah, this is fine. This and then you see the glowing fine. yellow eyes. <laughs> oh dear. Are the pupil <laughs> dilating? No, 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 but it's just. There's an instinctive feeling in you, but she's just sniffing at you to make sure what you are. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> They're not eating the cobalt yet. Don't show fear. They can smell it. Hopefully they'll go for droop first and I'll survive. <laughs> ah, really? he's using the Melgurn approach. I don't have to run hmm. faster than that. I just have to run faster than rain. And I'm faster than rain. Yeah, but you're not faster <laughs> than congrats on whoever stands beside him. That's fine, as long as I'm faster than one of them. Mostly rain. I mean, right now, all Castalia, Cornelius, and Rain are all faster than you by five feet. What? Yeah. Anyone who starts for a turn right beside Congrats gets an extra ten feet of movement. Oh. <laughs> all right. Because he has an aura of fitness. <laughs> well, they call it alacrity, but it's just he teaches yeah. you to be your best. Around. Not Gurn is all about fitness. Fitness beer in his mouth. He has definitely made sure that Castalia gets her exercise. <laughs> so yes, you two head oh. off through the Craftman District. Zarzul is able to hazily remember the place. And there it is. There's the, the proprietor. On his trolley. He looks larger. But not evenly larger. There are bits oh, of him no. that are bigger. Bits of him that aren't. Uh-huh. So As he like just that, like, sits like there, that. his chest heaving up and down. There's an apple in his hand, but it also yeah. looks to be glistening and dripping with something. And I just look at Zarzul with this look like, are you sure this is the guy? I feel like, you know, I'm giving it a yeah. look like, I think, I think he's going to die. <laughs> Maybe he can send an apprentice to the God. future. I don't think he'll make Over. it himself. Bring <laughs> your custom. <laughs> To our proper expert. <laughs> Stevie from back of the middle here. Yeah. Hello, good sir. I have returned. What can I, I have do a... for you, <laughs> my friend? And then he crunches I... down on the apple and you get a whiff of bacon. Oh, this is... Oh. And it's uh, just I smearing a... down his chin. I have a... um. Sort of a rush job that needs doing. Uh, we uh, we need a harness for a. Well, it's a displacer beast. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> so you. Um. It's not quite fully grown yet. His expression doesn't um, change, but you do see the mm. apple come up for another bite. <laughs> and the core is gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a half moon shape now, this apple. Oh, that's that's not how apples are supposed to be. It's also a half was, thing, so. I think you might be able to send an apprentice round to get measurements. It would be. No job for an apprentice. I. <laughs> I have a man for this. Stevie, and he tries to snap his fingers, but they're too fucking fat. They're just <laughs> rubbing against each other with grease. There's no friction there. But he keeps trying. <laughs> you guys are just watching this fat halfling fail to snap his fingers. <laughs> and I, I just I take a look at the halfling, one look back at Malgr uh, no, not Malgr uh Zarzul. Halfling, Zarzul. Still wondering, is this the right guy? <laughs> yes. Again, I'm, I'm really Valkyrie. It's like, how is this guy still? He just you interrupts you by roaring out, out Stevie, and then you just see him take very long, slow breaths <laughs> as a perfectly normal-looking human steps out. Yes, sir. Yes. He shall have a special order for displacer beast. You're the man for the job. <laughs> and now I'm wondering how he got all those words out so fast without winding his fucking... <laughs> winding his fucking... Well, you see, he's actually just... He's not conscious after saying all that. <laughs> and he's gone, yeah. The chest is going up and down very rapidly. The apple has rolled out of his hand. <laughs> I, just, I just look at Stevie. Is he, is he gonna be all right? Stevie just brings out a very small, shiny panel, puts it in front of his face. Oh. He's okay, yeah. He'll be fine. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, yes. Splacer Beast, that's an odd creature. Um, Yeah, they've got six legs, don't they? Yeah, I've seen... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's got six legs. So you want... Yeah, surprise me too. A harness, <laughs> right? Carrying? Like you want to be strapped onto it or something? Underneath? Uh... Maybe. Just... Let's let's walk Maybe. and talk. Let's walk and talk. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I think we should. As even just, there's some flies buzzing around his boss, and he just slaps one, <laughs> just imprinted on his cheek, and he just see him wipe his hands. He walk away. <laughs> he, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. No, he's he's really he's really good craftsman. Seriously, he's honestly a, a talent. This is actually making Melgurn feel good because he may be a piece of shit, but at least he's not that piece of shit. So Melgurn is actually getting an. Uh, you say this, album. but that piece of shit does own a pers you know a prospective business. You have come to this man with your custom because he could do something you could not. I didn't come to this. This is Zarzul's idea. I'm questioning <laughs> this man. No, but that's that's, that's 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 he seems you know. Like, I'm just pointing out this piece of shit: like business and homeowner. <laughs> God damn it. You don't even have a fixed address, Malgern. Just let me have one thing. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> you have your help. You have help. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not going to keel over because I bit an apple. <laughs> so, and like, you uh... probably beat him in the five meter walk as well by <laughs> several hours. I'm, I'm a natural sprinter. I, he's got nothing on me. So you're, so you know you're looking for just harness, but what do you want to leash? Uh, carrying pouches? What's what, what sort of thing are you thinking of? It's ma mainly just the harness at the moment, so we can um, lead it and have some control. But mm -hmm. maybe um, a leash. Okay. Yeah, just a leash. I think I don't think we'll it would worry about carrying pouches. If you were worried about a muzzle or anything, I'd have to get uh, one of the guys in from the smithery. But I can do uh, I can, we'll, we'll, I can do all the straps anyway, no linkages. Yeah, the straps is what we're after at this yeah, point. Yeah, I don't. And as you enter the house, he takes in the scene and then realizes he's standing really close to a displacer beast and backs against the door. <laughs> oh, see, I was thinking sort of caged, restrained. No. And then she's just sniffling up against him. 
Just snorting I, I thoughts of breath in his no, face. No, 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 no. <laughs> you no, see the tentacle here. angling around? He's here to help us. <laughs> Fucking hell! She it settles back. Can I? Uh, is that is his for now going or not? It's a stalemate, basically. Like she's not, she wasn't going to eat him anyway, but she's done sniffing for now. Well, if, I mean, if he helps, technically, would I be able to roll with advantage? Sure, uh, but I was going to actually. You do need to roll yeah, a nat twenty to beat it. On you. Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh, I can't boost you above twenty-one. Uh, no, I'm going to try to roll. No, okay. Hey, there's always a chance. There's a one in twenty chance. Yeah. And based on what the dice I've seen and how many ones I've rolled, I feel like you owe me roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> it knows you've played Blood Bowl. It knows, okay? Yeah, no. See, the thing is, I don't have an outlet for my bad dice anymore, so they're coming over here. <laughs> don't worry, there's a new version of Hero Quest on the way, so there's where your d bad dice rolls can go. <laughs> I'm a barbarian, and you roll one every fucking time you've got to move. No, because I wouldn't be a barbarian because the best character in Hero Quest is the dwarf. <laughs> now that all the other people are out of the room, the best thing about Hero Quest is the dwarf. Yeah. Um, okay then. <laughs> She's safe, yeah? She does not look safe. <laughs> Again, she yawns. There's so I'm, many I'm, teeth I'm, from both Displacer Beasts. I'm, try I'm trying to make You're a show politely, of... politely, I say yes. She'll be all right. And I'm I'm petting I'm, I'm petting the, the the beast like you see it's fine. There is a crinkle of air, as an owl bear pufflet farts. <laughs> as they have been known to as be. As he can't even sit on his front anymore because of a big belly, so he's just rolled onto his side. <laughs> Too fat to lay down. He's in a food coma. Yep. Uh, we, we've seen some something similar to that already today. <laughs> Yes, yeah, very much an impression of the halfling. Just with less chins. Horrible, fuzzy chins. Anyway. And both would probably claim to be growing boys, even though... Yeah. One legitimately <laughs> is. Okay, um... Uh, I'm, so I'm going to help bring, him get the measurements. Yeah, he brings out his tape measure. Zarzul's able to just walk underneath. But then the problem is the tape measure just goes through it because you were doing the illusion. <laughs> ah, I was waiting one. for that. Uh, that. That makes sense. Okay, that's yeah. Thought you were gonna make them roll for it, but you just as totally the went both for just sidestep to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna is getting a little bit annoyed because she can feel this running below her, getting in the armpits and leg pits. It's fine. It's fine. Feels the skirting along the back. She's getting a bit antsy. I'm sure this Lorna, is fine. Lorna, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's fine. There it is. You're late. They're able to placate to placate her for now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's gonna be interesting where I put the pressure on. Um. Yeah. Try not to get pressure on where the tentacles come out either. Oh yeah, that's another one. It's just like which shoulders and all take yeah. most of the weight is gonna be the tough part. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of shoulder. More than usual. Uh, yeah, okay. I, f I think I've got an idea of how this will work, yeah. And you need this today, basically, right? As soon as possible. Uh, that's... That's not too hard. We've got the right sort of straps and all. Uh, I could use some accessory from the horse. It's not going to be properly artisanal and all, but it will be a bit more expensive. Um... Uh, yeah. Uh, also, she's still growing, so I, we're probably going to need another one at some point in it as uh, well when she I, gets to full size. I don't want to risk doing adjustable at this rate. Um, yeah, a bit dangerous. And I also don't want to do them loose, too. Uh, it's going to be about 300 gold, but I can get them done in about two hours or so. That's perfect. Okay. Just nodding as I tried to keep her calm. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, the charges because I'm gonna have to bring a lot of the guys in to do this. Not here, yeah. obviously, yeah. Uh, in the workshop. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
Well, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, okay. I'm going to... As he backs up, not turning away from the Displacer Beast. <laughs> Someone get the door for me? I don't want to look around. Okay, I go get the door. Thank you very much. And then you're just backing out. Okay, then. So you got two uh, hours I'm... to kill. <laughs> I was about to say, Horizon is still here, right? I noticed this token is fucked off. Yeah, he's still here. Okay. He looks a bit well, awkward. worrying about people... If we're worrying about people disappearing, I don't think I see Zazel's token anymore. I see Zazel. I've been eaten. You're right there. <laughs> no. Should be. No, I got nothing. Oh, I, you, I, I got... you probably yeah. have that glitch. Um, exit roll twenty and then come back in, and it should pop up. Yeah. I'll hit I don't load see. And see I don't see. I don't see nothing either. Yeah, I don't either. There's his arms wall. Yeah, now he's there. Yeah, all I did was tap left and right. Uh, hang on a second, uh, we'll be back in the middle. Like page. Yeah. It wasn't important at this point, but yeah. I, I, I return to Horizon and I just go, well, apparently we get a little bit more time. Yeah, covers it just walked off. He just did. Fuck, I, yeah. I, I accidentally spilled wax on my keyboard. Oh, no. She's been playing with a candle and lighting shit on fire all throughout this session. <laughs> that sounds like a wizard. Yeah. I don't like your implications. <laughs> Says well, words from someone with a fireball distance. <laughs> <laughs> Sets hands on fire. Had, yeah. uh, and has had been known to burn down houses. One. Uh, back in play. One house, not houses. That we know of. So what's the conversation? <laughs> Rena was playing with wax and fire. She got it on her keyboard. Oh, very good. She's been burning stuff throughout this whole session. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Rain would go back to Horizon and say, well, apparently we've got a little bit more time than expected. Yeah, so because of that awkward time, I think we're going to end the session a bit early. So you get the harness. That's all fine and dandy. It's produced, it fits, but there's no point starting the adventure of going outside when we've got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention, it already is. We did start late, but it already yeah, is. Yeah, we started late. So, yeah, this is a good start. I'd be okay with stopping. Yeah. But next time, you'll actually get outside the gates. Adventure ho! Are you certain? And Malgurn rode forth. Depends on what Malgurn does. <laughs> <Alrighty>. <laughs> and now to click the button that says stop streaming